Hi, my name is Shanaz and I'm the founder of KnitAid, a social enterprise set up to help knitters help others in need. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a chunky blanket made up of knitted squares. We are going to be collecting these squares, sewing them up and making them into blankets to send to refugee families who have fled war-torn countries and are now living in cold camping conditions in Europe. I'm going to be showing you how to cast on, do the knit stitch, cast off and sew your squares together. I'll be using 15mm or US 19 sized needles, crazy sexy wool and a sewing needle. Let's get started! So first of all we're going to cast on. We're going to take our ball of wool, find the end of the yarn which can be found just tucked in the middle there. So to cast on we're going to do a slip knot. To do a slip knot we're going to do a loop as if to make a knot and take this loop through and pull it tight like that. And that's our slip knot. Then we're going to put the slip knot onto our needle and that makes our first stitch. Now we're going to cast on using the basic cast on method. To do this you need to hold the yarn in your hand like this and wrap the yarn around your thumb like that. It's almost like a little pointer like that. And with the end of your needle you need to go under that loop there and put it onto the needle. And that's your first cast on. So just to repeat, you hold the yarn like this, wrap it around your thumb and pull the needle underneath. We're going to be casting on 14 stitches to make a square of 20 centimeters wide which is around seven and a half inches. So again. So now I'm just going to check that we've got 14 stitches there. Now to knit, we take this needle with all the stitches and put it onto our left hand and take the empty needle into your right hand. Now to do your first knit stitch you'll need to go into this first loop here like this so from front to back so that it makes a nice cross like that and with your left hand hold both needles and with your right hand you take the yarn under and over that needle and hold the yarn and needle together. With the right hand needle you start pulling it out from underneath and pushing it onto the top to make another cross. And with that you take that stitch off the needle and that's your first knit stitch. So I'll show you again. So you go from front to back like this, until you make a cross. Hold both needles with your left hand and with your free hand you take the yarn under and over and start to pull that bottom needle out so that it's sitting on the top like that, cross and off. And that's your second stitch. So again from front to back, under and over, start to pull it out on top and off. You repeat that over and over again until you've finished your row. So make sure that you're always working to the point of the needle where it starts tapering off. You don't want to be working too far to the top or too far down the needle because you'll find it quite tricky to work with or that the stitches just fall off.
And then with the, the last stitch, which was your slip knot that you put on at the start, you do exactly the same. So nothing different with that one. And there we go. We have our first knitted row. Now to knit our next row, we take the needle and turn it round so that all the stitches are in our left hand again and the empty needle is in our right hand. Now these little bobbles here are your last knitted row, so we don't want to be knitting into those. We want to be knitting into that stitch there. Okay, and then we continue as we did the last row. When we knit every row, the stitch is called the garter stitch. And that's the stitch that we use to make this blanket. So we knit every row until your piece measures 20 centimetres in length. So your finished square will be 20 centimetres wide by 20 centimetres in length. So it's going to look a little bit odd now, a little bit uneven, but don't worry, keep knitting and I promise it will come out looking really nice. the last stitch there. So there's our square there. About 20 centimetres wide and 20 centimetres long. And to cast off, take the needle with all the stitches in your left hand as usual and the empty needle in your right hand. And now to cast off, we need to always have two stitches on our right needle. So we're going to knit two stitches. So it's one, two. With those two stitches, we're going to take the first stitch and pull it over the second stitch. So then we've cast off one stitch there and we have one stitch left on our right hand needle. So to repeat that, we want two stitches back on this needle, so we'll knit one more. So we have two stitches on that needle. And with the tip of our left hand needle, we we'll take that first stitch and pop it right over the second stitch. So we knit another one to have two stitches on our right hand needle and then with the point of the left hand needle take it under the first stitch and pull it over the second stitch. So here you can see you've started to cast off, you've cast off three stitches there. So keep going until the end of the row. And the last stitch, you knit again and you pull that first stitch over the second stitch. So then you're left with one stitch on your needle like that. Right, so we're just going to remove that needle, have a look at our square. And that's your cast off stitches there. Cut the yarn about an arm's length. that final loop we'll take the end of the yarn and pull it through like that and just pull it tight. That's our square. So now we're going to sew our squares together using a large sewing needle. I'm going to thread the yarn into the needle So when we knit, our garter stitch moves horizontally like this. And when we stitch our squares together, we're going to alternate the garter stitch so that one of them's vertical and the other one's horizontal. So 
So to sew your two squares together, you want to identify the little bumps right on the edge of this piece and the vertical bumps on the edge of this piece. So we're going to be going from these bumps into these bumps. So starting with the right hand side, put our needle straight through that first loop there. And then bring that yarn over to your other square and put it through this first loop here. With the next square, you go through the loop on the edge there. And then you go to the alternating loop on the other side. And then the final stitch on each side. Just finish with the last little loops. And there we go. That's now really neatly stitched together. And with these ends, we just want to weave them in. So in weaving in the ends, I'm just sort of hiding them in the, the original pattern of the garter stitch. And I'll tie a knot and cut it off. 35 squares later. Here's one we made earlier. It's all ready to send to a refugee camp in Europe.